Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. I'm wearing a t-shirt of the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms and I want to talk about one of the fundamental freedoms in society, in a democracy, and that is freedom of speech. Now, we just ran part one of our 17th annual event online and our guest speaker was Donna Laframboise and her topic was climate activism, how climate activists are undermining your free speech, your free thought, your free choice. And I found it very interesting the way that she framed some of the issues and principally she said that climate activism is fundamentally anti-democratic and you can see that this is um, a very common element running through all of climate activism that the science is settled, that if you doubt it or challenge it, you're a denier, and if you're a denier, then you're as bad as the worst, most evil people in history. It's so important that we maintain freedom of speech and that we demand open civil debate, especially now that society is being um, turned upside down in many ways by the pandemic and, and by other issues in society, the global economies are not doing well. Um, we have to make sure that our governments are providing open civil debate on climate and energy policies, full cost benefit analysis, and due diligence on the science. Uh, now, one of the things on the science is that Roger PLK Jr. has recently published some papers and he's found that climate science in the business as usual story that we're being told about the Paris Agreement and about the catastrophic climate crisis, the climate emergency, that scenario is based on really outdated science and that the reality of temperature rise and emissions has, has departed from this catastrophic scenario. So, in fact, the catastrophic scenario that shows very high warming and extreme temperatures and extreme weather conditions, that's just not true. It's not related to reality at all. So, the only way that we as citizens, taxpayers, consumers, can maintain our standard of living is to challenge every single one of these climate activists to bring forward the evidence, to bring forward their due diligence. When people tell you, oh, renewables are so much cheaper now than fossil fuels, prove it. And we need to demand from our governments open civil debate, due diligence, and full cost benefit analysis on all of these climate and energy policies. So the most important thing though is that of freedom of speech. That underlies all of this. Don't let them shut you down because you have a perfect right to question every single thing about climate activism and about these energy policies that will make your life become one of heat or eat poverty. That's a fundamental fact. And you can look back through our um, events and you can see the year that we brought Dr. Benny Pizer and he spoke about how the European and UK policies were pushing people into a, a climate fiasco of heat or eat poverty. That was in 2013. Now it's come here. So for Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. Keep calm and defend free speech.